Hey everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you four makeup looks. Now these are intended for university or college but you can obviously apply them and wear them even if you don't go to uni. So there's four looks, the club, the hangover, the fancy dress and the lecture. So let's start with the first look which is this one and I'm going to rewind to wearing no makeup. Okay, look number one is the club, and this is probably the most full-on heavy look out of all of the four. So this is quite a nice look for a club night, and it's also a look that I wore in a past vlog, and all of you, seriously, like most of you requested a makeup tutorial of that look. So I'm going to start by using the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I couldn't find a drugstore alternative for this at the moment, but it's basically a foundation that has no SPF in it. When I look back at all my uni photos, I literally have a flashback white ghost face in all of the like clubbing photos. So if I'd known then, I would have used something like this. I'm just taking a small pump and putting that all over my face and then blending it out using a bopping brush. Then for concealer, I'm using the Revlon Colour Stay Foundation and I might use a bit of the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer just on any blemishes because this is waterproof so it will last well throughout the evening. Now the base is done, I'm going to bronze, highlight and blush. I'm going to bronze with the Soap and Glory Solar Powder Bronzer and I'm going to highlight with the MAC Soft and Gentle which is really nice and shimmery. And I'm going to use the Gosh Flower Power Blusher which is really nice and very affordable. Just before I do the eyes, I'm just going to sort out my brows using the Anastasia Brow Wiz and the Blink Clear Brow Gel. I talk about this eye pencil more in one of the later looks so keep watching to hear about that. Okay so now onto the eyes and I think the reason you guys liked my look in that vlog is because of this eyeshadow and it's by NARS, it's relatively new. It's one of their dual intensity eyeshadows and it's in Dion, it's really really pretty. It looks like this and you can apply it dry or wet. I'm going to apply it wet because it looks really amazing and how I'm going to do that is I'm going to take a brush, take my Urban Decay setting spray and just spray the brush very lightly. Then just taking a bit on my brush, you'll see how amazing this is when it applies. There's no need to use primer, you don't need to, these eyeshadows do not go anywhere. This shade is a really pretty kind of silvery taupe. I'm then going to take my NYC Best of Broadway palette and take this brown shade here and just use that to blend into the outer corner and take some of that brown underneath the eye. Just to intensify the look a little bit more, I'm going to take this black eyeliner from MAC and this is their Black Brilliance. It's a fluid line eye pencil and this is new. It's like their gel eyeliner but in pencil form which is much easier to use. I'm just going to put it right into the lashes just on the outer corner. I'm then going to use Maybelline the Falsies Mascara just to give really full lashes. To add even a bigger look for the eyes, I'm going to use a lower lash mascara, this is the Clinique one. Okay, so finally the lips, and because there's quite a lot going on in the eyes, I'm just going to have a nude lip, and I'm going to use the Rimmel Notting Hill Nude Lipstick, and the Charlotte Tilbury Bardo Beige Lip Gloss on top. Okay, so that's look one, the club. So look two is the hangover and I think this applies to you whether you drink or you don't drink because if you've been out the night before and you're just really tired then you feel hungover either way. I know when I'm hungover and I've had a late night the last thing I want to do is spend ages on my makeup so this is a very simple routine and I think most of the products I'm using are drugstore. The first thing I like to do is use a facial mist and this one is from Caudalie but you can use any one you like and it's nice and just kind of wakes you up. Then it's very important to moisturise your skin, use whatever moisturiser you like but keep your skin hydrated because it's likely it will be very dehydrated. I'd recommend using a BB cream or tinted moisturiser as it will keep the skin hydrated, it's really light and easy to use, you can just use your fingers and it feels light and nice on the skin as well, it doesn't feel too heavy. I would recommend the Dr Yart BB cream, it's really affordable, really nice. This isn't the right shade for me at the moment because I have a bit of a tan, so I'm going to use my Laura Mercier oil free tinted moisturiser. So I'm just going to use my fingers to work this into the skin. It doesn't take too long and it just gives a nice light coverage. If you do want a slightly more full coverage then I'd recommend using a buffing brush just to buff it into the skin. Once you've done the base you can just use a small amount of concealer where you need the extra coverage and I'm going to use the Revlon Colour Stay which is really again hydrating and moisturising. All these products are very hydrating, I think that's what you need after a big night out. I'm just going to place it under the eyes, around the nose and on the chin and then just blend it out. I find if you want a little bit extra coverage then instead of blending just tap it and it kind of doesn't disperse the product as much. I'm then going to use just a bit of bronzer because I always like to wear a bit of bronzer and this is the Soap and Glory Solar Powder which is my favourite as you know. I'm just going to put that all over, I'm not doing any sort of contouring or anything. And then for blusher, something really natural, this is the Max Factor Miracle Touch Creamy Blush in soft pink and you can just use your finger for this and it makes your cheeks look really plump and moisturised. Just taking a bit on my finger like this and then just tapping it onto the apples of my cheeks. 
I'm not going to fill in my brows because I haven't really got time. I'm just going to use a clear brow gel to run through them to make sure they stay in place. For my eyes, I'm just going to use a One Product Does All, and this is from Kiko. It's their long lasting stick eyeshadow. So it's just a cream eyeshadow in a stick form. You just put it on, blend it out, and it's done. It's so easy and it's a really nice bronze shade. So I just put that all over the lid and then just use my finger to blend out the edges. I'm also going to take that slightly underneath the eyes. So it's nothing too intense, but it just adds a little something there to kind of smooth out the eyelid. It looks kind of pretty, but nothing drastic. I'm also going to use a nude eyeliner in the inner part of my eye, and this is really good just to wake up your eyes and to get rid of that tired look. You can sometimes get quite red eyes when you're tired, so this is a good way to neutralise the red. I'm only going to put it on lightly, because I think if you put this on too hard, it can look a little bit strange. Before I do my mascara, I'm actually going to curl my lashes, and this is another way to waken up your eyes and get rid of that tired look. And for my lashes, I'm going to use my favourite drugstore mascara, which is Maybelline The Rocket. Finally, on my lips, when you're hungover, I think you just want to wear nothing or a lip balm, but this is a nice kind of in-between. It's the Revlon Lip Butters, and they're kind of like tinted lip balms, so I'm just going to put a little bit of that onto my finger and then just pat it onto my lips. This one is in Berry Smoothie, which is my favourite kind of everyday shade. So that's look two, the hangover look, very kind of hydrating, moisturising, but very simple, no fancy eyeliner or crazy blush contouring. This was pretty much my go-to look every day at uni. Okay, look three is a fancy dress, and you will, without a doubt, have so many fancy dress parties, by the end of first year you're going to be sick of it. I think at first you want to kind of go all out and have a wacky, crazy, like really thought through outfit, but by the end of it, you're like, what is the cheapest and quickest way for me to do fancy dress? So although this isn't the most crazy idea, it's the easiest, quickest, and definitely the cheapest. I bought these glasses from Camden Market for about two pounds. I bartered it down from five, I did quite well. And I'm going to be doing a Where's Wally. Obviously I would be wearing a red and white striped top if I had one. I wore one at uni. I did Where's Wally a lot, so I'll put a photo here of when me and Rich dressed up as Where's Wally. So I've already done my base, and for that I used the L'Oreal True Match Foundation and the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. I also put on a little bit of blush and I used a really long lasting one so it will last throughout the evening and I used the Clinique Cheek Pop in Peach Pop. Okay so first let's start with the eyes and I'm just going to create a really kind of nice neutral base with the MAC Paint Pot in Bare Study. This is really easy to apply and it just adds something on the lid. I don't really like to keep my lids bare. MAC Paint Pots do crease on some people but my tip would be to put a tiny little bit on. I think if you overdo it that's when it creases. Okay now I'm going to do black liquid liner and for this I'm going to use the DHC one just because this is new to me and I just bought it and I want to kind of give it a go but you can use any black liner that you like. Revlon do a good one or if you want a really high-end luxury one I love the Tom Ford one. This has got quite a short little nib to it so I reckon this is for experienced eyeliner users but I'm going to give it a go. I'm going to create slightly thicker line than I normally do just because I think for a Where's Wally look I want thick black eyeliner, red lips, freckles, I kind of want to go all out, you don't want it to be too subtle for fancy dress because then no one will really get who you are. Okay I'm kind of happy with that shape, it's quite different to how I normally do my black liner but it was kind of a mistake that I quite like. It goes kind of like that and then up and thicker out at the edge, so I'm going to try and do that on the other side. My black eyeliner tip is just to keep looking forward to compare how the two are. Okay, after a bit of adjusting here and there, I think I've got them kind of equal, so I'm going to leave it there. Definitely know when to stop. If you keep going, then it will just end up all over your face. I'm going to add a lot of mascara as well, and for this I'm going to use Clinique High Impact Extreme Volume, because I know for me it's the most kind of impact mascara that I have. Okay, mascara done, and now for the most important part, the freckles. And I think Topshop have a freckle pencil specifically for drawing on freckles, but I couldn't find it anywhere. I'm not sure if it's kind of been and gone or hasn't come out yet. I've seen it somewhere online. So instead I'm just going to use a L'Oreal brown eyeliner. You can use any brown eyeliner you have. To make the freckles, I'm just going to press, twist and take off. And I'm going to try and do it quite light, because you can always add, but you can't really take away. Now, I'm not trying to be subtle. This is fancy dress, so you want people to think that you've drawn them on. You don't want them to look like natural freckles. Okay, I have a lot of freckles there. I'm going to stop. I think that looks quite good. Finally, a red lip. I don't know why. Where's Wally doesn't wear red lips, but whenever we dressed up as Where's Wally, we always wore red lips. I think because it went with the red stripes, it goes with the black eyeliner and the freckles. It just looks really cool. I'm going to use the Sephora lip cream that you guys always compliment me on when I wear it in videos, so now you'll see it in action. And I'll show you how I apply these because they are very intense, so I think there is quite a specific way to apply it. First thing I do is take off the excess that's on the brush, you don't want too much on there. And then I start with the bottom lip. Once I've done the bottom lip, I then press my lips together. And that really helps guide the top lip and any more of the bottom lip that you need to do. And those are the lips done. Then all you need are your Where's Wally glasses, and there you have it. Where's Wally, or Mrs. Where's Wally. 
Okay, look number four, and this is the lecture. Now, if you have an early morning lecture, refer to look two, the hangover, because that's something you'll probably be able to do in a rush, but I'm gonna pretend this lecture is in the afternoon. And I remember I kind of wanted to look nice for lectures, had a bit of time to get ready if it was an afternoon one. So this is kind of gonna be an everyday makeup look, but a little bit more experimental. I've already done my foundation and concealer. I used the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation, and I used the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer, which is just one of my favorites. It's really moisturizing and easy to use. To bronze and sculpt the skin slightly, I'm going to be using the Sculpting Bronzer Palette from Kiko. It has a nice light bronze, a darker bronze, and a highlighting shade as well. I'm going to start by using quite a large brush and then just use it like a normal bronzer. And then I'll go in and do a bit of contouring. This just adds a bit more definition and gives a nice shape to the face. Then with another small brush, I'm going to take the highlight shade and just pop it on the tops of my cheekbones. This is a really pretty highlight shade. For blusher, I'm going to be using this one from... NYX or NYX, I'm never sure what it's called, and this is in peach, it's just a really kind of, you can hardly see it, it's very subtle but pretty. Before I start on my eyes, I'm just going to tidy up my eyebrows a little bit, and for this I'm going to use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. This is really nice because it has a really small spoolie on one end and then a very fine pencil on the other, so it's really easy just to fill in the few hairs that you're missing. I don't need to do much to my brows, but when I do want to do something, this one's really easy to use. So I'm just going to brush the brows upwards because that's where my natural hairs go and then fill in the bits that I need filling in. Once I've filled them in, I'm just going to use a clear brow gel to set them in place. Okay, now onto the eyes and I'm going to go for a pinky purple theme and for that I'm going to use the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow in Amber Rush. This is a really nice pinky shade. It's a bit like MAC All The Glitters. I'm just taking that all over the lid. It's really pretty and reflective. I'm also going to take a small eyeshadow brush and use the bronzer shade from the Kiko palette just underneath the eye to add a little bit of definition. Instead of using a normal brown eyeliner that I would normally use, I'm going to use a slightly purple one instead. This one is from Charlotte Tilbury and it's Elizabeth Violet. It's a really soft pencil so I'm just going to line the upper lash line and then smudge it out slightly and it should give a really nice kind of purpley smoky effect. So as you can see I've done quite a thick line but then I've blended it out and I think it looks kind of nice and smoky. For my mascara I'm going to use the Stila Mile High Lashes. I can never say this mascara. It's really nice and lengthening and volumizing, and I really like it. Very little effort is required with this mascara. Okay, and then finally for lips I wanted something soft and pink. I'm going to be mixing two of the Tanya Burr lip glosses. Picnic in the Park is slightly too pink for this look and Afternoon Tea is slightly too beige so I'm going to mix them together and I think it will make a really nice combo. These lip glosses are really pigmented so if you want something a little bit softer I'd recommend dabbing it in with your finger. And that's the finished look. So I hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up if you did. I hope you got some good makeup ideas for your first week at uni and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>